Hello YouTube, LD50 here, about another video and today we're going to run through the true Malawan takedown using just the Guardian Angel shotgun, cloning maddening tracker and the cub. The Guardian Angel uh, shotgun increases damage depending on distance. It increases all damage except action skill damage or in the case of uh, this particular action skill it doesn't boost uh, iron cub uh, but it boosts the grenades that we're showing uh, throwing which is the cloning magnum tracker and I have the um, while action skill active uh, deal 150% grenade damage anointment on that grenade as well so we're going to run through uh, and I'll catch back up with you uh, when we get to Wotan for a review
Those were advanced mechs, but we're after something bigger. Keep going. A fair price.
much power! Can't stop the body drop.
So, we've successfully passed the Kraken and the Valkyries and the bridge, and we're now on our way to Wotan. I think the biggest obstacle with this build is uh, managing grenades. Um, I do have some points in why can't I carry all these grenades, uh, which allows me to carry an extra three. And obviously with the cub out, our grenades are going to do two and a half times the damage. One thing that does surprise me with this uh, build though, um, or certainly with the uh, Guardian Angel gun itself, is uh, how effective it is as a weapon. Um, usually uh, it's used just uh, to damage, uh, increase damage um, by distance for you know whatever damage you're doing. But um, as a gun itself, uh, if you can lead the target or anticipate where the target's going to be, due to his extremely slow projectile speed, um, it is a surprisingly effective and powerful weapon. Uh, this is the Times 24 version, I'm going to see if I can't uh, get myself a Times 32 version, which I believe is the highest pellet count. But uh, all in all, yes, yeah, not, uh, not a bad gun. The build itself is quite fun to play, uh, sort of low skill, apart from uh, managing grenades uh, you need to be a little bit more conservative I think with your game gameplay style I have taken several knees during this run uh, due to being a little bit over enthusiastic most times and obviously Iron Cub is a great source of second wins anyway um, and we can throw grenades in fight for life because of the skill to the last uh, so we will get, um, we will have opportunities to get out of Fight for Your Life uh, fairly easily with this build. I'm just going to wait for Iron Cub to uh, to come back. Taking a little damage on the way. Waiting for the cub to come back again. Oh, I think that was a combination of the um, grenade and the guardian angel taking out the uh, Wotan's better half. There we go, takedown confirmed. So yeah, real fun build to play. Um, throw the grenades, keep your distance. Um, get Iron Cub to do a fair bit of the work for you as well. But as you can see, this build works uh, on the true Malawan takedown setting. Here's the skill tree. Oh, here's the uh, gear first, sorry, Guardian Angel. Uh, Super Soldier Shield is just what I had in my backpack. Blaster, sorry, Minesweeper. A cloning Madden Tracker and I had a last stand. A victory rush on. There's my skill tree. I'll leave a link to the skill tree in the description of this video. If you have enjoyed the content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It gives me motivation to make more videos. Uh, I've been LD50, you've been lovely, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.